Japan has consistently maintained its position as a leader in robotics technology, and let's now explore the latest developments in the field. The forestry industry in Japan is currently testing robots as part of an initiative to address the country's chronic labor shortage. These robots produced by Boston Dynamics are utilized in a trial run by the Forestry and Forest Products Research Institute and SoftBank Corp are demonstrating impressive capabilities. For instance, a yellow four-legged robot successfully navigates grass slopes, ventures through dense forests filled with twigs, climbs stumps, and descends without assistance. The ultimate objective is to increase reforestation and help Japan achieve its carbon neutrality goals. With an aging and declining workforce, the introduction of robots aims to assist human workers in monitoring and maintaining Japan's forests effectively. To enhance the safety and efficiency of forestry work, a group of Japanese researchers recently conducted a field test, integrating these electric-powered quadruped robots. Leveraging geospatial data, Wi-Fi, and other communication technologies, the robots can autonomously cover vast areas of land. In recent years, the Japanese government has been supporting smart forestry initiatives, incorporating robots and other technologies to improve communication, reforestation efforts, and disaster recovery. The trial runs for these robots will be conducted twice before the end of this year, with one in Shimakawa, Hokkaido, and the other in Tsukuba, Ibaraki Prefecture. Additionally, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Machinery Systems Limited have commenced testing an automated valet parking system at a large-scale commercial facility near Tokyo. The system employs AGV, Automated Guided Vehicle Robots, named Stan, manufactured by Stanley Robotics, a French venture-backed company. This event signifies the first implementation of such an autonomous vehicle handling system in a commercial complex in Japan. The testing is being conducted in a designated parking zone at Shisui Premium Outlets, an outlet mall operated by Mitsubishi Estate in Chiba Prefecture. The AGV robots autonomously transport vehicles aiming to verify handling performance and evaluate user satisfaction in an environment closely resembling actual application scenarios. The MHI Group has set its sights on nationwide deployment of automated valet parking systems as well as automated systems for transporting finished vehicles in collaboration with Stanley Robotics a world leader in the development and deployment of automated valet parking solutions. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries MHI, has been testing AGV robots since October 2021. One of them, called Stan, autonomously transports vehicles both indoors and outdoors using a lifting platform. Stan has been operational since 2018, initially at an airport parking garage in France and later at Gatwick Airport in London. In Japan, robots are gaining popularity in the service industry due to the preference for contactless interactions during the pandemic. Watami, a yakiniku chain, has introduced virtual server robots equipped with large screen touch tablets for food delivery. These robots, featuring the personalities of selected VTubers, greet customers, assist with orders, and provide restaurant information. Me Lab, a startup based in Nagano Prefecture, is currently working on the development of cube-shaped pesticide spraying robot. These robots are custom-made and can be ordered individually, with a price tag of approximately $15,600 per unit. The four-wheeled vehicle are designed to assist aging farmers by efficiently reaching the undersides of leaves, surpassing the capabilities of airborne drones. Additionally, the robots can be operated remotely after their routes are set. They utilize GPS to track their location and move at a walking pace, powered by a rechargeable battery. With a capacity of up to 100 liters of chemical solution, these robots aim to provide a practical solution for farmers. Japan's culinary robotics sector combines industrial expertise with culinary heritage. P-Robo, an AI robot chef developed by Tech Magic and Pronto Corporation, excels in pasta cooking. With four pans, P-Robo prepares up to 90 meals per hour, defrosting, heating, sourcing, and even handling post-cooking cleanup. Pronto plans to install P-Robots in up to 50 restaurants within the next five years, showcasing Japan's advancements in cooking robotics. Hollywood has brought us iconic cyborg characters blurring the lines between humans and robots. While fully functional cyborgs remain distant, a Japanese team has developed a lifelike robotic finger coated with living human skin cells capable of healing when damaged. As robots advance, the question of human-like features becomes subjective, pushing the boundaries further. Japanese convenience store chains are introducing drink stocking robots, called TX Skara, in 300 Family Mart stores. These robots, operated by Telexistence, can stock up to 1,000 bottles and cans per day, addressing labor shortages and allowing staff to focus on customer service. Telexistence plans to expand to the United States, 
bringing robotic assistance to retail operations. Tokyo's government building has embraced robotic security with the deployment of autonomous patrol robots. These SQ2 models, developed by SexSense, utilize advanced AI to detect people and obstacles, avoiding collisions as they navigate their predetermined routes. Equipped with multiple cameras, they provide live video feeds to human security personnel. In construction and engineering, transformer-like humanoid robots are gaining popularity. Researchers and companies worldwide are developing these versatile robots to perform monotonous and hazardous tasks, reducing the workload on humans. Jinki Etai, a Japanese startup, has introduced a colossal humanoid robot for construction purposes, controlled by a human wearing a VR headset. This innovation will enter the market in 2024, leveraging the appealing appearance and compatibility of humanoid robots with human operators. The focus on humanoid robots represents a shift in societal implementation. Tokyo's government building has embraced robotic security with the deployment of autonomous patrol robots. These SQ2 models, developed by SexSense, utilize advanced AI to detect people and obstacles, avoiding collisions as they navigate their predetermined routes. Equipped with multiple cameras, they provide live video feeds to human security personnel. In construction and engineering, transformer-like humanoid robots are gaining popularity. Researchers and companies worldwide are developing these versatile robots to perform monotonous and hazardous tasks, reducing the workload on humans. Jinki Etai, a Japanese startup, has introduced a colossal humanoid robot for construction purposes, controlled by a human wearing a VR headset. This innovation will enter the market in 2024 leveraging the appealing appearance and compatibility of humanoid robots with human operators. The focus on humanoid robots represents a shift in societal implementation. Collaborative control involves combining the intentions of different agents like algorithms and human users to collectively operate a single robot. A recent study investigated how closely a human operator's attitudes align with those expressed by a semi-autonomous robot when controlling specific parts of his body. Participants ranked paintings and controlled the robot's hand or smile, or had no control. The robot recommended the sixth ranked painting to another participant, and the operator's subsequent ranking aligned closely with the robot's attitude. This study showed the alignment of attitudes during autonomous interactions between humans and android robots. Xpang Robotics, an affiliate of Xpang Inc., secured $100 million in Series A funding. They focus on developing robotic hardware and software, starting with a quadruped robot featuring autonomous navigation and a robotic arm. Unlike other quadruped robots, Xpang's aims to be a companion for care, entertainment, and transportation. It has a unique pony-like gait, visually aided voice control, intelligent driving, and can navigate various terrains. The successful funding reflects market expectations and confidence in Xpang Robotics research, development, and commercialization capabilities, according to CEO Shuji Gen. Chinese scientists from the Sichuan University have developed small robot fish that can consume microplastics, aiding in ocean pollution cleanup. These robots are effective in shallow water environments and aim to collect microplastics in deeper waters while providing real-time data for analyzing marine pollution. The lightweight and miniaturized robots has versatile applications, including biomedical operations, and is made from biocompatible materials. It can avoid collisions, absorb pollutants, and recover even when damaged, making it a reusable sampling robot. A self-driving wheeled robot has been introduced in Tsukuba, Japan, to deliver groceries and daily necessities to approximately 1,000 households. This service, provided by Rakuten Group Inc., Panasonic Holdings Corp. and Seiyu Co. covers an 850-meter radius around a Seiyu supermarket. The robot has a loading space of 114 liters and aims to improve convenience and efficiency in local deliveries. Robots have gained attention through animatronic versions of artist Yeyoi Kusama displayed in Louis Vuitton store windows. This collaboration has sparked debates on social media regarding the potential exploitation of the 93-year-old artist. Kusuama's art practice and personal history are intertwined, and her robotic representation can evoke morbid associations. In Japan's farming industry, technological innovation is driving advancements in agriculture. Metagri Labo, a community merging agriculture and blockchain technology, aims to promote sustainability and increase revenues while revitalizing regional areas. They are working towards implementing decentralized finance using smart contracts in the agricultural sector by 2024. Metagri Labo has also launched non-fungible token NFT projects, such as the Metagri Labo Suka Collection, 
collaborating with farmers to issue limited edition NFTs featuring agricultural products. In the realm of space exploration, Ten Chin, a startup affiliated with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, utilizes artificial intelligence and satellite data through their Compass system to optimize rice production. This system analyzes big data and employs machine learning to identify ideal cultivation conditions and methods for producing high-quality rice, considering factors like climate change and socio-economic considerations. Additionally, MeLab, a Nagano prefecture-based startup, is developing a cube-shaped pesticide spraying robot, customized for individual orders, offering more effectiveness compared to airborne drones. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it both fascinating and thought-provoking. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Do you think the introduction of fully performing female robots will revolutionize our society or raise ethical concerns? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. Stay curious, stay amazed, and keep exploring the limitless possibilities that technology continues to unveil. Until next time, goodbye!